Well, before I was a writer, I was a dancer. I spent most of my life performing on stage and touring with、uh, big musicals around Australia and New Zealand. So I really wanted to write something that was kind of in that dance world. I also grew up in the country,、um, so the main character grows up in Ballarat in the country, and I thought it would be really interesting to combine both of those things、uh, and to write about a character who, you know, is pursuing this dream, but then it doesn't come true, and looking at. What happens after that? Because you know we all have dreams, and and they don't always come true. And I think that we don't necessarily talk about that enough, and and how to deal with that and process that when that one thing that you're working towards、um, doesn't actually happen. So that's kind of the the initial inspiration for the story. I was totally blown away when I saw the cover.、Um, it was not. Really, what I was expecting.、Um, I don't know what I was expecting,、um, but when I saw this,、um, the colours really grabbed me. I think it really gives a really fresh and fun vibe to the story, and I loved seeing this、um, Luca figure kind of tumbling down the cover,、um, which is kind of the opening chapter of the book. And I am obsessed with the back, which has a little Luca on crutches and a little Jordan over there as well.、Um, yeah, I just think it really nails the vibe and. Um, kind of the the fun nature of the story, even though it is kind of dealing with some difficult things.、Um, I think it really sets a nice tone. I think it's really beautiful. I obviously relate to Luca a lot because he's a dancer and I'm a dancer,、uh, and I went through a similar kind of transition with my identity when I stepped away from my career on stage and started pursuing writing and publishing.、Um, I had a couple of years where I. Sort of had no direction in life and wasn't really sure what I was doing and and didn't really feel like myself. So I really connect with Luca on that sort of level.、Um, but I also really relate to Amina in all of her nerdiness and her love of timetables and highlighters and studying. And you know that was me at school. I was just a big nerd. So I definitely relate to both of those characters a lot. Um, I think it's really important to talk about grief in our stories because I'm not sure if we really talk about it enough in everyday life. You know, everyone is dealing with their own kind of grief and their own losses, and I think it's really interesting to see Luca, who you know is grieving this part of himself and and his dance career and his future,、um, sort of juxtaposed with his dad, who is grieving the loss of his wife, Luca's mum,、um, many years ago. And I think it's just yeah, really important to see how different people process their grief and to talk about it. Really openly, because it's something that everyone will need to deal with at some point, and I think it's great if we all have the tools to kind of process it、um, as best we can. Um, I love love, and I love writing about love,、um, and it was really fun to write in anything but fine.、Um, to make the story, you know, and that relationship authentic, I really drew a lot on my own personal experiences, whether that was. From when I was a teenager or when I was an adult,、um, I think you know navigating those relationships is always kind of awkward but kind of beautiful, and it it just was really really fun to write. So I I put a lot of myself into both of those characters for those stories, and I think you know I just wanted to make sure that they both had their own you know very strong point of view, and they both came at the relationship from. Kind of different angles, and just yeah, really looked it into my own experiences to bring that kind of level of authenticity, and I, and I hope that shows on the page. I really hope people come away from the story just knowing that you know you don't have to have your life all together, and you don't have to have. You know, a really clear direction at every point. You don't have to necessarily know exactly where you're going and have those kind of goals set out. You know, you can just sit back and enjoy the journey and roll with the punches and and go along for the ride and kind of just find joy in in all the everyday moments along the way. Because、um, I think we put a lot of pressure on teenagers, especially, to know exactly what they want to do with their life. Um, which is a huge, huge goal, and I don't think、um, you know we necessarily have to do just one thing anymore. So it's just about yeah, just allowing yourself to go on that kind of winding journey and and having fun along the way.
I think my main piece of advice for any aspiring YA authors out there is just to read, 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 read everything you can. Obviously read, you know, all of the great YA books, but also read some middle grade, some picture books, some literary fiction, um, read, you know, within the genre you write, but also outside of that genre, because the more that you read and the more that you consume from, from great writers, the more you take in, the more you'll have to put out. So I think that's kind of my main piece of advice. 